Hello and um, welcome to this Dr. Ross key skill video on drawing a pie chart. Now in the previous video we looked at how to interpret a pie chart and why we use pie charts. Previously we had to work out the frequencies in the pie chart, the number of people with each grade in this particular case, but this time we are given the frequencies and we need to find the angle so we can subsequently draw the pie chart. Now before, when we had the angles, what I got you to do is to find what fraction is the angle of the total angle of 360 degrees. Now this time we got the frequency and we're going to do a similar thing. We want to find what fraction is each of these frequencies, the number of people with each grade, what fraction is it of all the people? So if we just do grade A, what fraction of people got a grade A? Well, the fraction of people getting grade A, it was 30 people out of 100 people. So it's 30 out of 100, which is 3 tenths. And then we know the total angle of a pie chart was 360 degrees. So the total angle in a pie chart is 360 degrees. So therefore, if the fraction of people getting A is 30 over 100, and we know everyone in the pie chart is represented by 360 degrees, the whole pie chart, we just need to do that fraction of everyone of 360 degrees. So we do 30 over 100 multiplied by the 360 degrees and that gives you 108 degrees. So we can put the 108 degrees in here. Now let's similarly find the fractions for each of the other ones. The fraction of people got B, let's add an extra column in fact. The fraction of people that got B was 5 out of 100. So 5 out of 100 which is the same as 1 out of 20 and then we do 5 hundredths of 360 degrees. So we just times this by 360. So 5 hundredths times by 360 is 18 people. And the next one, it's 45 out of the 100 people. So 45 hundredths. And then again, we times this by 360 to do that fraction of the full angle, the total angle of 360. So 45 over 100 multiplied by 360, and that is 162 people, so quite a lot. And then finally, what's the fraction of people who got grade D? It was 20 out of the 100, so 20 hundredths. And again, we times that by 360, so 20 hundredths, or a fifth, times by 360 is going to be 72. So that's 72 people. Now, I always do a check at the end. Does the total angle add up to 360 degrees because we know in a pie chart the total angle a full spin would be 360 degrees so we do that 108 plus 18 plus 162 plus 72 and indeed we do get 360 degrees so now we could draw this now i don't have a protract on me so i can't actually properly measure out these angles so i'm just going to estimate the pie chart obviously you start with a circle and let's put the center in here and we're going to do the different slices. So we've got a slice for the grade A of 108 degrees. So if I put a vertical line up, 108 degrees is slightly more than 90 degrees. Now a 90 degree angle would be a quarter of the pie chart. So 108 degrees is going to be slightly more than that. So that's your 108 degrees. You wouldn't usually write the angle on the slice, but that's grade A. Grade B is only 18 degrees, so that's going to be a relatively small angle. So grade B was with the 18 degrees. Now the angle for C, I almost done 45 degrees there, that was my mistake. I want 162 degrees. That's slightly less than 180 degrees, which would be a straight line. So it's gonna be slightly less than half the people. So it's gonna be a bit like this. So, and sorry, that's a C. And then finally, we got the D people, that's 72 degrees here. And that is your D slice there. 